Hey there, and welcome to a quick tutorial going over the Pathfinder Society Sheet recently added to TOS 2nd Pro Edition. The Pathfinder Society Sheet is designed to track your Pathfinder Society character information efficiently and easily. Since much of the Pathfinder Society content isn't found directly in the core rulebook, this new addition to TOS 2nd Pro is very welcome and allows for quick and easy customization of your unique Society boons and consumables. Let's take a look at some of the most important parts of this new sheet. Starting off, the left side is designed to be printed for convenience at your table. This side tracks most of the information obtained during character creation. Your player details, such as your organized play ID, your school training, and your faction reputation. Depending on your chosen Pathfinder training, the consumable Quick Pick button automatically shows you only consumables for which you are qualified. Should you have selected Field Commission, it even prohibits you from opening the consumable menu at all, as Field Commission Pathfinder agents do not get bonus consumables. The right side is dedicated entirely to your boon selection, as well as a few sections dedicated to specific boons, such as Adversary Lore and Practiced Medic. There's also a section here to format the text to your liking, as well as load a character portrait, like so. The Boon Tracker does more than just show you your slotted boons, it gives you the full details of each one. When I choose the Fruit Basket Boon, I can see the full description of it in my information section, and the name appears green in the Boon Tracker. A green name indicates it has a limited number of uses, one in this case. When I use the Fruit Basket, I gain the effect and double-click the name. This causes it to be used up and the name turns red, indicating that it has been exhausted for this character and should be removed. The final topic I'll be touching on here today is the level bump automation. In a Pathfinder Society game, if one player is multiple levels below the rest of the group, the GM can give them a level bump. This grants multiple bonuses and TOS handles all of them automatically. If we look at my dashboard, we can see I have a plus 8 to attack, with a plus 3 to my damage, and 22 hit points. If we head to the Pathfinder Society sheet and enter a 1 in the level bump, we can see that all of my attacks, my hit points, everything related to the level bump has been done automatically, and you don't need to edit any of it yourself. And when you're done, it's as easy as deleting the level bump and heading back over to the dashboard, and everything is exactly as it was. And that's it. This sheet is perfect for tracking your character's journey through the Pathfinder Society. I hope I was able to explain most of the great functions of this new TOS feature. Be sure to check it out.